begin diving into the audio. So today is about dialogues involving activities, plans, topics, and problems. Now, going over what you may potentially hear, going back to TOEFL ITP, there will at least be one question. I can't give you a definitive number. It could be anywhere between one to three, where they will ask you, what are they probably doing? This is that type of video. All right, so I want you to keep and pay close attention to that because again, if you get one of these questions and you were listening to something else that's entirely different, such as any of the previous modules, you might be stuck is what I'm trying to say. So with that being said, people, let's dive into this. So like I had already promised you, we got 15 questions, all right? We're gonna do every last one of them. That's right. And so the first one starts off with A, road conditions, B, a weather report, C, motel reservations. So if we look at these three potential answers, road conditions, you need to think of words of association that may dictate going into that topic, right? And so we're gonna go over this, but again, you're previewing it. B, a weather report. It could be anything in regards to the wind, uh, poor, poor conditions on the road. Again, that could be a little bit of a distractor in regards to A, because they might mention there being too much snow or, you know, the forecast for tomorrow. These are words of association. Motel reservations, you already know. So in saying that, what are they probably doing? Or what are they probably talking about? Road conditions, a weather report, motel reservations. This is what we're going to be focusing on. So with that being said, here we go. Three, two, and one. I can't believe how icy the highway is. There it is. Yeah, I've never seen it so bad. Maybe we should just stay at a motel and see if it's any better in the morning. Mm -hmm. What are they talking about? Okay, so here we go. Are they talking about because you see or because you see and see motel and because you heard motel, the majority of you, the majority of you would hurry up and say, yep, that's, that's it. C is absolutely the answer. Wrong. There was one key word that the first female said, look how icy the roads are. So what are they probably talking about? The, oh, the other girl, this, the second speaker just gave a suggestion. Oh, yeah, maybe we should just stay at the, stay at a hotel until the morning. They're not talking about reservations. They're talking about probably staying at the hotel and again again are we, are we are they talking about road conditions or are they talking about a weather report a weather report that means they would have to re use reported speech to talk about hey did you hear what happened on the news this morning the forecast for tomorrow is going to be this so what they're talking about is because the road conditions are so bad alas i see they should probably just stay in a hotel until the next morning? A would be the answer. These are tricky. You hear keywords in C, you're probably saying, oh, weather, icy. That's another distractor. Road conditions, because the road is icy, that's what they're talking about. And as a suggestion, the other girls say, you know what, maybe we should just stay in a, you know, let's just stay in a hotel until the morning. These could be a little bit trickier. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to dive a deeper into these. Let's go into number two. Go to the concert, listen to jazz on the radio, buy more tickets. All right, so conjure up. That was a little, that, that was a bit, bit of a difficult number one. Let's see how this number two goes, all right? So let's go. Number two. Have you heard about that big outdoor jazz concert next month? Heard about it? I already have tickets. Okay. What is the woman going to do? Okay, now, he said, have you heard about that big outdoor jazz concert next month? She said, heard about it? Surprise. She's like, I already have tickets. So what is the woman probably going to do? She's going to go to the concert. A is your answer. It's not about the radio, and it's not about buying more tickets. She already has tickets, so why would she even buy more tickets? Get me? So let's go into number three. A, the man's car is not running. B, the man isn't going to the party. C, the car isn't big enough for four people. Number so three. Joe and Nancy and I were hoping to get a ride to the party with you. With me? 
but I drive a little two-seater. What is the problem? This is a little hard because the woman said, hey, me and Nancy were planning on getting a ride with you. He said, with me? And this is really colloquial. So if you didn't pick up the last couple of things he said, there's no way you're going to get it. He said, I drive a little two-seater. A two-seater means in the car, there are only two seats. If you didn't know that, you might get a little bit confused. So if we look at A, the man's car is not running. It is. It's just very small. Okay? B, the man isn't going to the party. He said nothing in regards to that. But looking at C, the car isn't big enough for four people. Why? Because it's a two-seater. Tricky. Tricky. I know. But it all comes with practice. So let's go into number four. Stay inside. A, B, find his umbrella. C, look outside. Number four. Looks like rain. Better look for your umbrella. Yeah, I think it's definitely going to rain. That's why I'm not going out. <laughs> what is the man going to do? Okay, he's not going out. She said, looks like rain. Get your umbrella. He said, yeah, it looks like it's going to rain. That's why I'm not going out. He is not going to find his umbrella. He's basically saying to the woman, yeah, because it's going to rain, I'm not going out. A is the answer. This is so tricky because A it says stay inside, B find his umbrella. The woman suggests him to find his umbrella, but he said, yeah, it does look like rain. That's why I'm not going out. So if he's not going out, the opposite of not going out is staying inside, A find his umbrella, he would have to agree. He would have to say, I'll say, let me get my umbrella. What's the man probably going to do? Find his umbrella. That's not what we have here. He said he is staying inside. He's not going out. So it's not about looking outside either, right? Totally wrong main idea. So in saying that, people, uh, I'm telling you, these are very, very, very tricky, right? And so it, all it takes is a lot of a practice. Practice makes improvement, not perfection. A, store, B, bridge, C, street, number five. Here we go. Where are they? Number Where five. Where are they? You mean it's still closed? Yes, sir. The repairs won't be done for another two weeks. You'll have to take Highway 17 and cross down river from here. What are they talking about? Okay, so what are they talking about? Now, are they talking about a store? Obviously not. He said it's still closed. Because the man says this at the beginning, a lot of people would automatically assume that he's talking about closed, meaning store, meaning some kind of place, right? However, it seems like he's talking to a police officer, right? He said, you're going to instead have to take highway and cross down river from there cross down river now this is very similar to crossing over so are they talking about a street or are they talking about another way of getting across the river b bridge